what is your biggest asset that you would bring to the job? Yep. 27 years in law enforcement, and in the last 25 I've worked in a community that is the county seat, has the hospital, the jail, the juvenile hall, all the mental health facilities, and neighbors of prison. Sound familiar? We're very much a bigger picture of what's here at Shelton. I've been able to accomplish a great deal with the youth in our community, um, stopping them before they get to the point of making those poor choices. Um, I've also been able to work with the homeless population in our town and deal with how we need to prevent that from being a crime and keep them off the streets and out of the jails at the same time. So those are some of the assets I bring to put Shelton. So you've been around the community. What do you see as the biggest challenge in, in Shelton? The biggest challenge I think is being faced statewide is economy. It's still there. People say it's edging up, but it's still there. The other is just like anywhere else, you've got to be able to get the community engaged. And I think you have a fractured community in some spots. My wife and I walked from one end of downtown to the other. And we heard everything from I love Shelton to I hate Shelton to there's a drug problem, it's not safe. Um, the homeless issue is off the hook. And I think the challenge is getting all of those groups together into one spot to come up with a solution because the police department's not going to give you the solution. City staff's not going to give you the solution. But working with the groups, actually hear what the real problem is behind it rather than just what the perception is. I know you haven't really got into the looking at the department, but in your opinion, do you think that Shelton has enough officers on the street? No. That's the easiest part. I can tell you that from anywhere you go. Um, but the reality here is, as small as Shelton is, it's still spread out enough. It's still the county seat, and it has the big city issues that you would have anywhere else. Um, do, would I love to see an officer on every street corner? No. I mean, that's, that's a little unrealistic. Do I wish you could get more involved? Yes. And that's not necessarily even putting them on patrol. There are things out there that can be done in the community with officers that not necessarily are in patrol, but support the patrol aspect of it. In other words, you're going to relieve some of the work for patrol by bringing an officer into other areas of this. Last question for you, why make the career move now? That's a great question. Um, and the reality is, I'm 49 years old, my kids are grown, uh, my wife's in a position to where her job's transitioning and she's going, do I want to stay here or do I not? And to be frank with you, we looked around at other positions and I'm not applying for chief's jobs all over the place. I wanted something that I could set down long term. I'm not coming here to be a chief to be a move on to be a chief somewhere else. I'm coming here because this is an area where I've had family all through Oregon to Seattle. I'm familiar with somewhat of the area, not Shelton specific. But the other part of that is if I come here, I'm not going anywhere. And so I wanted somewhere where I could work for the next five years, maybe beyond that, but at least the next five, and then explore the outside areas around Shelton and Shelton and say this is where I'm staying.